Google search results are responsible for sending billions of visits to different websites across the web every day. But how can you make your site appear first on Google? The term SEO or search engine optimization gets thrown around a lot, but in this video, we're gonna explain how SEO really works, how you can make it work in your favor, and crush a few popular myths along the way. So buckle up and let's go. Have you ever wondered how Google decides which results to show you when you type in the most random question? Which results will appear on the top of the first page and which on the bottom of the 12th page? Well, Google tries to read every page on the web, index them according to their content, and then rank them in search results, according to features like quality and relevancy to the given search. This promises users a valuable answer to their searched question. But what if I'm a creator? Well, as I mentioned earlier, search engine results are where a massive amount of website clicks come from. So if you wanna direct traffic to your website, it's super important to make sure Google search recognizes your content's quality and also knows what searches it can answer. Let me show you how. The first tip, of course, is to create useful and information-rich content. Keep your content clear and simple while describing the heart of each page accurately in frequent headings and subheadings. Otherwise, Google may not understand your content correctly and not show it as a search result, even when it's perfectly relevant. You can use Google's URL inspection tool and make sure it can index your web page correctly and pull it out for future searches. Second, don't just copy content from other websites because Google will easily recall reading it before and draw conclusions about the amount of value your content can bring as a search result. Think of yourself as a user. Don't you hate it when the top three search results repeat each other? On the contrary, you want other people to recommend your content and even link to it on their sites. External links to your site will give Google more context about your content, which in turn can help in showing it to relevant audiences. You can achieve that by collaborating with other creators or by building yourself as a source of knowledge. For example, if you're writing a travel blog, ask the last place you wrote about to feature a link to your post on their website. Be creative, but don't use services that offer to link your site for a fee. Google might take it down as a sign of untrustworthiness in your content. On to the third tip, and this just might be the most important one. Try to think what the optimal audience for each piece of your content is likely to search on Google and use that in your title and in your text. This is what we call keywords. And instead of guessing them on your own, you can try using Google Trends or the Google Ads Keyword Planner. Each of these tools can provide you helpful information like the most popular searches for each topic according to language and region, or the trends in search volume for a certain search word over time so that you can focus on the most visible keywords. Last but not least, keep in mind that Google is constantly evolving towards a better and more human-like review. So looking forward, the best SEO advice is to focus on value. Make content for readers and not for search engines, because when the only purpose of your content is to be found on Google, people quickly realize that, and Google will too. That's it. You can consider SEO officially explained. So keep these tips in mind and create amazing content. That'll make those clicks come your way.